Good morning from Manila. Today I'm in a place called Eastwood and it's a very special video because it is my birthday. I was not going to actually video on my birthday, I was going to chill. But as I'm here, I said, why not? I will make a video. And this Eastwood area is in Quezon City and it's meant to be like one of the posh, more posh places to live in Manila on a par with BGC. I've never really been here, so I'm gonna explore the area a little bit, but I'm starting the video with food because I haven't had this morning and I'm starving. And also why it's a special video is because I am revealing my travel partner. <laughs> she was not in the video, guys, because she's shy. But I'm gonna show you the place I'm at now. Nama, Nama, Man Am, Man Am. It's Filipino food restaurant. So this is where I'm going to eat the food, try the food today. I will let Lai do the ordering. So this is a more upscale Filipino restaurant away from the current area. I have to treat myself a little bit for my birthday. So I think we're going to order some sisig and some sinigang. I'm not 100% sure, but the menu looks quite appetizing. I will let you know the prices when the food comes. It's the first time I've been in Eastwood and Lai just told me Eastwood City, they're calling it Eastwood City, it's a little city inside Quezon City. So my first impressions of it are we're in the mall, so I don't really have much of an impression, but the mall is really nice, they have like many restaurants and it seems like a really fancy mall, which we will take a walk around after we met. But Lai knows the area quite well, so she's going to show me around. Food is coming, rice. Oh, you poured the soup in. Yes, sir. Thank you. If you need anything, pour the rice. Got a big bowl of rice. I cannot really show this one. Look, it's Sinagang, this one, right? Sinagang Nababoy. Sinagang Nababoy. Pork Sinagang. Ah, pork Sinagang. So it's like a pork soup. I'm not sure if I've tried it. I think so. I think I've tried fish Sinagang for sure. Ah, oh, it's like limey, lemony limey. Nice, I like it. And the pork sea sig has come in a sizzling plate like this. This is a small size. We probably should have got a medium size to share, but we've got the soup as well. So let's get into this. This is the birthday breakfast. How much you want? The whole bowl? That's enough. Oh my god. Which? It's nice. Oily, limey. I'm gonna try the pork though. It's nice, it's good. Solid, solid soup. The seasick looks very presentable in this place. Normally I'm used to eating it in Corandira, but let's give this a try. Nice. This one's so good. Very like crispy and juicy. I like it. I like this juicy a lot. Celebrating birthday, not with a red horse, with the calamansi juice and a mango shake. Good birthday. Thank you. Comment down below. What? Guess the age. Wow. Guess the age. She said, guess my age down below. I think my subscribers are savage. They're gonna say like 50 or something. Whoever gets it right gets to go on a trip with me somewhere. How old am I looking? Oh, guys, if you come to this restaurant, definitely get the CC. Great, it's so good. 
breakfast brunch is done total 914 peso not bad pretty nice food now Lai's gonna show me around Eastwood we're still in the shopping mall gonna walk and get some coffee but as you can see all the nice buildings there's many like condo buildings around too they're fixing this Fountain, so it's open every 6 p.m. 6 p.m. Yeah, we have the dancing fountain here. Okay, they do a dancing fountain. Yeah. They've got some fish in there. Check out the fish. Yeah, it's not actually this mall's not too busy now. It's busy here the weekend or what? Yeah, during the weekends. So let's go and get a coffee and check out this Eastwood. I want to try and see some of the condo buildings or what else they have around here. I've just crossed from Eastwood Mall and they have this nice little section I'm walking through now where, like I said, on the evenings it's pretty busy. Many like bars, people come to drink and stuff. And this is where we're going to grab the coffee from. So, I don't really know, they've just got like many chain things around here like Popeyes, TJ, Fridays, stuff like that. And I'm going for my favourite coffee down here, Pick Up Coffee. It's in like one of these carts, but it's always the green cart. Okay, Pick Up Coffee, 75 peso, like converted me to dark mocha because it's the best and now opposite the Eastwood Mall we was in there's Eastwood City Walk and she wants to take me in here to show me because they have some bowling and some pool tables maybe we should have a game of pool I should teach you pool come upstairs in the mall she's brought me to the pool tables check it out they have loads of different pool tables so I'm gonna teach Lai how to be like a fellow Filipino pool player Efren Batareas he's my dad <laughs> oh I'm done I've lost <laughs> I've lost already and also guys here yeah, they have a nice really nice bowling alley so you can come here play pool they've got like one, two three four five six seven eight nine ten They've got like 16 pool tables, many bowling alleys, so really nice place to come out after brunch and play some birthday pool. Lights are on. You want a break? I don't have the, <laughs> I don't have the enough strength. Oh, I will break. Got it too. I cannot believe it. That was a good shot. But now you have to pop all this and you all just destroy it. My god, she's like, did you capture that with the camera? I hope so. Oh, your angles are way off. Uh, <laughs> angles are way off. Brown.
Nice. Bundles on the black. Birthday pool is over. She's not bad for a first timer. But as you can see, I'm quite the professional. So any subscribers see me and want to challenge me in pool, get the money out and we can have a money game. Why not? Races too. Why not? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> do you want to be my partner? Sure. Oh, you must think I'm good then. So this is Eastwood, guys. It does actually, it reminds me a lot of BGC, it's like safe to walk around, the security everywhere, as you can see, he's been a road traffic guy now, and Lai is going to take me somewhere to the river where you can get on a boat, 5 pesos. I'm not sure if it's still 5 pesos, but... Maybe more now due to inflation. So I'm still in Eastwood, but like everywhere in the Philippines, you have these lovely, I suppose, condo complexes and shopping malls. <laughs> beep, beep. <laughs> and then you just walk across the road and you come in the more local area. They're all like very close to each other. And this is where most of the like local people will come to eat their food. There's many like Corandiria style places and food instead of eating in the big fancy malls. Lies brought me down here by the river because she wants to take me on a river boat experience in the Philippines. You can see people's houses behind here. What are we going on? We're going on one of these boats. Look at this. Well, I have to go on one of these. It's like my man just rows across in this little boat. And we're going over to that place. See, like, we literally just... Not even a five-minute walk from Eastwood, the, where the big, like, fancy malls was and stuff. So, that's the Philippines. That's what it's like. How much is the boat? Five pesos? How much is Five? Ten pesos. Oh, inflation. Inflation's <laughs> killing us. The, the, the boat used to be 5 pesos and now it's 10. Ah, oh, oh, no. Because before they have like this rope. Oh. They just have to pull it. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, wanted, uh, I wanted that experience. Now someone has to row. <laughs> yeah. can, I, can I be the rower? For, and I'll go for free. Take, <laughs> I'll take everyone, yeah? Okay, he said yes. <laughs> Hard because you know there's a lot of people on the boat. Yeah, I don't mind as long as we don't fall in. You have to walk going to the end of the boat. You sit on the end of the boat. Oh, me? Yeah. yeah. Why are you gonna push me in? <laughs> but they swim. <laughs> this is the pier, the famous pier in Eastwood. Got the fighting chickens too. Incoming, this is the boat we take in. I want to be the rower. Oh, oh no, you Prepare really your squats. 20. Prepare your tiny pesa. Wow. See that? We have to give him before we get on. Yeah. Ten, twenty. Yeah. Want to go first? Yeah, you, you can go on the. I'm not going. I love it. I'm not going. Hello. Yeah. Where do we go, Lai? So this is the boat. It costs 10 peso per person to go on this boat. Um, Lai said before it was 5, but like I said, inflation. Inflation really sucks. Yeah, inflation is going up everywhere for the jeepneys, for the local rides. Look, they've got like, what's that? The workers over there. We've got like eight people on the boat. I, want, I wonder how many trips, like, I wonder how many trips he does in a day. Backwards and forwards. Like a lot. Yeah? Like just they all open day. like 6am and then they just... That's just crazy. Keep going. Keep going. So this guy, he's a, young, he's a young guy anyway, but he has to be pretty strong. 
because he's just going backwards and forwards all day, like rowing. He just like basically squats on the end there and rows. I think this has got, it's got stock. I can kick it out if he wants. I told you. You can. Huh? You can. Right. Yeah, I could have pushed it out. Is that what you were saying to do? Just push it out. Ah, he's got the balance though, hasn't he? He has got the balance because you would not fancy falling in there, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> I like swimming, but not in this river. <laughs> so like I was saying, like we was just I didn't really show you too much of Eastwood, but it's over there where all those big condo and office buildings are. And just a five minute walk to this local boat crossing. Look at that kid. Incoming. Hello. Hello. Not bad, it took all of like a couple of minutes. Thank you. There we go. Hello. How are you? I'm Anthony. Nice to meet you, Anthony. Okay. See, and nice friendly locals on the ferry crossing. And when you come over there, sell some snacks, some food, the sorry sorry stores. And just like that, we're, on, we're in one of the areas or barangays where I normally roam around alone. Huh? Lives. Your friend lives here? Yeah, there. Oh, really? And Lai has some friends that live around here, nice. So we'll just see where we walk to now. I'm just following the leader today. What is this? Oh, co coconut, right? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. It's um. And and this looks nice too. Gonna try. <laughs> you, you're gonna give me a bite? <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> 24. 24 pesos. 20. I think I've had it before. I cannot remember. <laughs> Because I, I'm like always eating everything and I never remember what it is. We stopped to buy this snack. Show me what it is. Explain. It's called Palitao. Palitao. It's, it's made up of glutinous rice. Oh look, um, the meat market too. Yeah. Come on, let me try this Palitao then. Coconut and glutinous rice. Mm, good. Sugary. Rice, coconutty nice snack this is like local area coming through with the tricycles how many you get four four palito for 24 pesos not bad loads of local food around here mm. but wait what was the same because because i'm like a newbie to manila I'm still getting used to the way the seat is laid out. So we come from Eastwood, Quezon City, across the river, and now we're in what, Pasig? Now we're in Pasig, so I'm like trying to get my bearings with the city, but I like this because I'm with Lai, she's more local, she knows these kind of areas. I would actually come back here to try more foods. There's a lot of street foods around here. Yeah, it's good. The old barber shop. It, it's it's a pretty nice area. This it's like very local, not too chaotic to the areas I normally go, but nice, like busy enough, friendly people. Waiting for a local tricycle to come to hop in one of them. 007. Ladies first. Yeah, 
very nice but very sweet. Now we're in this little tricycle. How much are these like normally? Oh yeah, it says there, right? More than a kilometer, 13 peso, just one kilometer, 12 peso per person. So normally they have like two in here. Some people sometimes stand here. I think there's a girl sitting on the motorbike with him. Because Lai knows I like the chocolate cake and she comes through it says Happy birthday Tom from Lai <laughs> And she's already come that age there I'm not in 23 she's lying I'm not 33 23 look 